In Attleboro, nine firefighters and two dispatchers have now tested positive for COVID-19. As WBC's Ken McLeod reports, one firefighter is hospitalized and in serious condition. Trouble began last Thursday when a firefighter here at Attleboro's main firehouse fell sick and immediately shared his suspicions with the chief. As Engine 1 rolled on a call tonight with a COVID negative crew, some of the department's 90 firefighters are still getting tested. We've gone six months with something like this not happening. Um, it was almost inevitable that it was going to happen. When that first firefighter came back positive, a flurry of testing found eight comrades with COVID, all but one who shared the sleeping quarters, kitchen, and equipment here on Union Street. All the evidence seems to point that it probably was spread while they were at the firehouse. However, two other cases were confirmed in dispatchers who work out of the South Attleboro station. Most of the sick have minor symptoms, but a deputy chief is hospitalized in serious condition. Oh my gosh, that's awful, because if they start getting sick, who's going to help us when we need them? That shouldn't be a problem, because as sick staffers quarantine and others await testing, all shifts are covered by healthy firefighters working overtime if needed. We don't yet know how it was introduced into the fire department. With that question still unanswered, contact tracers are scouring the firefighters' trail, including folks they encountered on their emergency calls. The people that they responded to were contacted. That was part of the contact tracing. None of those people uh, have come up positive. The firehouse and gear have been disinfected, so the mayor argues there's no risk to the public. And he says the fire station will get air purifiers and UV lights while residents pull for their stricken first responders. Yeah, exactly. They're more at risk than anybody else, you know, and uh, uh, definitely our heart goes out to them. The firefighter cluster here comes at a tough time for the city. Just tonight, it officially earned a red designation from the state with 60 COVID cases in the last two weeks. In Attleboro tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.